Hi everyone, today we're going to take a closer look at the Microsoft Technical Support Scam. This is a common scam whereby you receive a call from a technician supposedly from the Microsoft Technical Support Center. The calls usually come from the far or Middle East, and most of the people I have interviewed that have been caught in the scam claim that the caller very often has a fairly strong Indian accent. At any rate, the caller claims that their very sophisticated system has detected a number of error messages received from your computer, and they are making a courtesy call to help you solve the problem. This often creates a knee-jerk reaction in some people, especially those more vulnerable and possibly less tech-savvy folk, and it is they that will often accept assistance. The caller, generally in a fairly professional and patient manner, will give you instructions which will allow you to see your event viewer. This is within your control panel, under Systems and Security. Now if you move down to View Event Logs, it opens up another window, the Windows Logs, and the System. And here you'll invariably find a long list of various error messages, sometimes even warning messages. And this enforces the caller's suggestion that your computer is faulty. However, it is important to know that certain error messages are quite normal on most computers. The end game of the scam is to offer to sweep your computer remotely for viruses, or possibly update your software, or maybe renew your license for your software. For this they might ask you for a once-off fee, they might ask for your credit card details, or perhaps give you an alternative like paying into an account. Sometimes they get you to allow them to access your computer via a desktop sharing program such as TeamViewer. They use this to install spy programs to monitor your computer remotely, which could eventually lead to the hacking of your emails, business accounts, or perhaps even obtain your banking information. Essentially, you need to know that Microsoft or any other large software provider will never make an unsolicited call about upgrades or updates and security. If you do get a call like this, generally the best policy is to just hang up. And don't stress about where they got your details from. Cyber criminals use publicly available telephone directories. This is how they know your name, and they usually guess what operating system you are using. One further warning. An advanced version of the scam is to get a follow-up call after you have successfully thwarted your scam caller. The new technician, claiming to be from a cybersecurity company, correctly identifies that you have received a scam call earlier and offers to check your computer to make sure it hasn't been compromised. And this is also a scam. If you do receive a telephone call like this, you can report it to Microsoft. They do collect this information and hopefully will use it to be able to target and track where these criminals are. If you have been a victim of the Microsoft phone scam, the first thing you need to do is make sure the cyber criminals cannot access your computer anymore. The best way to do this is to switch off your internet. The next thing is that you'll need to change all of your passwords, your usernames, contact your bank and ask them to be on the lookout for anything that might be suspect. It might be a good idea to take your computer to a specialist so that they can have a look and see if anything was installed on your PC that shouldn't be there. And finally, it's important to tell everybody about this scam. You see, this scam preys on people's insecurity, their lack of technical knowledge, and it's very easy to be a victim. And the best defense is sharing knowledge. It's much easier to put the phone down if you are forewarned that this type of scam could and probably will happen to you one day. Thank you for watching this video. If you found it useful, please consider clicking the little thumbs up button and make comments. Perhaps your experiences can help other viewers. You might also want to subscribe to the Scams YouTube page. That means as soon as we update this page with the latest scam information, you'll be the first to know. Thank you again for watching and remember, if it looks too good to be true, it probably is.